Hello and welcome today we will be talking about what is a piezo buzzer, how to connect one to an Arduino board, and explain the code for the piezo buzzer. A piezo buzzer is an electronic component that produces sound by using the piezoelectric effect. The piezoelectric effect is a phenomenon where certain materials, such as quartz, generate an electric charge when they are subjected to mechanical stress, such as pressure or vibration. Conversely, applying an electrical charge to these materials causes them to deform or vibrate. A piezo buzzer typically consists of a piezoelectric ceramic disc, a metal diaphragm, a case or housing, and electrical contacts. The piezoelectric ceramic disc is the main component of the buzzer. When an electrical signal is applied to the disc, it vibrates and produces sound waves. The metal diaphragm is attached to the ceramic disc and serves to amplify the sound produced by the disc. The diaphragm is usually made of thin metal and is designed to resonate at a specific frequency to produce the desired sound. The case or housing of the buzzer serves to protect the internal components and direct the sound produced by the diaphragm. The housing may be made of plastic, metal, or other materials. Electrical contacts are used to connect the buzzer to a power source and to control its operation. The contacts may be simple wire leads or may be mounted on a circuit board. Piezo buzzers are easy to use with an Arduino or other microcontroller. Here is an example circuit for a piezo buzzer that is controlled by a push button. Piezo buzzers can also be activated by other electronic components, like sensors or even light. By combining different components with a piezo buzzer, you can create complex sound effects that respond to the environment or user input. As you can see the piezo buzzer's positive pin is connected to digital pin 9 on the Arduino Uno board and its negative pin is to the ground connection. As for the push button, it is connected to digital pin 2 and there is a pull-up resistor connected to the ground connection. After you have connected the piezo buzzer you will need a code to run it on an Arduino Uno board. Here is an example code for using the piezo buzzer. Here in the first box, you can see the initialization. This code declares two integer constants buzzer underscore pin and button underscore pin and assigns them the values 9 and 2 respectively. Buzzer underscore pin is the pin on the microcontroller that is connected to the positive lead of the piezo buzzer, indicating which pin the code should use to send signals to the buzzer to make it emit sound. Button underscore pin is the pin on the microcontroller that is connected to a button, indicating which pin the code should use to detect whether the button is pressed or not. This can be used to trigger the piezo buzzer to emit a sound when the button is pressed, creating an interactive effect in the project. And in the other box, it shows the main loop function that runs continuously in the code. The loop starts by checking whether the button connected to button underscore pin is pressed or not. If the button is pressed, the code executes the following steps. The tone function is called with buzzer underscore pin as the first argument and 440 as the second argument. This plays a tone of frequency 440 Hz on the piezo buzzer. When you use the tone function in your Arduino code, it generates a square wave at a particular frequency. This square wave is sent to the piezo buzzer, which converts it into a sound wave that we can hear. Delay 200 pauses the program for 200 milliseconds while the tone is playing. After playing the tone for 200 milliseconds, the no tone function is called with buzzer underscore pin as the argument. This turns off the piezo buzzer and creates a pause of 100 milliseconds before the loop starts again. Delay 100 pauses the program for 100 milliseconds before restarting the loop. Piezo buzzers are versatile components that can be used in many different ways. With a little bit of creativity, you can use them to add sound effects, alerts, or even music to your projects. Now I will show you the code running on the earlier connection that we made. Thanks for watching.